What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Megan. I'm back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some really good seven foot popper builds. All right, I got three different versions of this seven foot popper. All three are really solid defenders and shooters, but just in case, but say you want a little extra sauce on there like you want one with some good post control or if you want one with contact dunks we can accomplish all of that with this brand new build and i'm going to show you exactly how in this video so hopefully by the end of this video you get a better idea of what kind of build you want to make or you can just choose one of the three builds that i show you so with the first build i'm going to show you this this one gets a 70 co shot 70 driving layup 87 driving dunk so you get silver posterizer, silver slithery, gold area wizard, silver precision dunker, and you get the driving contact dunks. 80 standard dunks, so you can also get the pro big man standard contact dunks, and you get an 81 post control, so that's going to get you your post badges, your gold and your silver post badges right there, and you also can get bronze unpluckable. Now for the shooting, you get that 80 mid range, 83 point. This build can get silver and bronze shooting badges. And you get gold comeback kit. 72 free throw with an 80 pass accuracy. Then put a little something on the ball handle because you had to upgrade that with your pass accuracy. Now for the defense, Get an 80 interior, 38 perimeter, and no steal on this one. All right. Now for the block, we got a 92 block. It's going to give us gold anchor, gold chase down, and gold pogo stick. Keep in mind, y'all, chase down and pogo stick, all of that is tied into your physical stats. We get a 70 offensive rebound and a 92 defensive rebound on this one. So on this build... I only can get gold box out beasts. I have another version of the build that can get Hall of Fame box out beasts, but you can just make any little minor adjustments and try your best to get that one more extra point for your box out beast. Speed, we're going with 68. Acceleration, 60. Strength, 85. That's going to give you silver brick wall, silver a movable enforcer, 83 vert, and a 95 stamina. So this one comes out to be a three level threat, all right? We got finishing, we got defense, and we got shooting. Pretty all around, pretty balanced build, right? If you wanna do a little bit of everything, all of these builds that I'm gonna show you today can do a little bit of everything. All right, this one right here is the only one that can get the driving contact dunks, okay? All right, now say for instance, you don't really care about getting the contact dunks, okay? So, Cause that was my main change up with this build right here, all right? So if you don't care about getting the driving contact dunks, you could do something like this. Seventy close shot. Take our driving layup down to a sixty-one. Driving dunk instead of giving us an eighty-seven, we're just gonna go for an eighty. Standard dunk, 80. Post control, 81. Now on this one, the shooting mid-range shot is a little bit higher. I see on this we get the gold post fade for Nam. I'm not sure if we could get, was it gold? I can't remember if it was gold or silver on the first build. And now three point, we still taking that to an 80. But with just the higher mid-range and still the 83 point, we get more silver shooting badges. And our free throw, we're going to take that to a 76. Pass accuracy back to an 80. Ball handle lead that at 45. No speed with ball. Interior defense taking that to an 80. Perimeter, leave it at a 38. No steal. I do have a build 
the last build I'm gonna show you guys is gonna have steel on it if you guys want steel. So you can get bronze interceptor. You gotta get that 60 steel. 92 block. That's for that anchor. 70 offensive rebound. And this one right here is going to get the Hall of Fame box out beast. Okay. With that 93 defensive rebound. And then when we upgrade our physicals, we'll be able to get the Hall of Fame box out beast. 68 speed. 60 acceleration. Give us that 90 strength. And that's going to give us Hall of Fame box out beast, gold brick wall. Still got silver um, bulldozer. And now we get gold movable enforcer. Vert taking it to an 80. And the rest can go on your stamina at a 95. So this one turns out to be a spot up threat. A spot up threat. The first one was a three level threat. This one is a spot up threat. All right, so here go the last one right here. This one is still a spot up threat build. Like I said, I tweaked it a little bit so I can get steel. Show y'all a build with some steel on it so you can get bronze interceptor. Okay, if you're interested in that kind of thing, the physicals are pretty much the same as the rest of the builds. This one can still also get Hall of Fame box out beast, gold anchor, gold chase down. Just gets a little bit higher perimeter defense and then 60 steel. Playmaking is pretty much the same. I had to put my extra attributes on speed with ball. Mid range 83.80. This one has a much lower post control, just at a 70, 70 close shot, 60 driving layup. And this one only gets a 70 driving dunk, but it still gets the 80 standing dunk, so you can still get the big man standing contact dunks, all right? So these are pretty much all the different variations of the builds that I have for you guys today. Let me know what you think about these builds in the comment section below. If you plan on making any of these builds, please let me know. If you're going to make it just as it is, tell me which one you're going to plan on making. Or if you're going to make certain adjustments or whatever just for your liking, let me know that down in the comment section as well. But overall, I feel like these are all pretty decent builds to go with. You got your shooting. You got decent finishing on it. And you got your defense, man. You got to have some defense on, on your bigs. And the hardest part for me, I'm not even going to lie with this builder, is the pass accuracy. I have some more builds that I'm working on that have even higher pass accuracies. And I'm not sure how the gameplay is with the lower pass accuracies yet. So that's why I'm kind of skeptical about dropping builds with the low pass accuracy. But I'm pretty sure the lower the pass accuracy, you can upgrade a lot more stuff on the offensive and defensive end. But I'll play around with it. I'll most definitely play around with it. But these are some solid builds, I feel like, all around. You guys, I asked y'all which one y'all want first, the 7-footer or the 6-10. So I'm giving y'all the 7-footers today. More than likely, I'll drop those 6-10s for y'all tomorrow. I believe this one came out to be another um, spot-up threat. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, this is another spot up threat. So but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and don't forget to hit that notifications bell. And please, 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 if you have made it this far into the video, go ahead and drop me a follow on Twitch. I live stream on Twitch and kick at that girl Megan. Please, all of my links are down in the description below. I'm out. Thanks for watching.